Hi, this is Sonia, and I wanted to film a quick video about how I'm doing menu planning in my planner. I've actually ordered a new planner to put my bills and menu planning in, so this is um, just kind of a memorialization of how I was doing it now in case I want to go back to it or if you want any ideas. So this is my A5 Austerly in Plum, and right now it's the only thing in here, so I won't you know, show you what all the rest of the dividers are. But what I've done is um, I've taken the Filofax Week on One Page inserts, and um, really I haven't written anything on it except just if we're having people come visit or if we're going somewhere, um, then I write it. But uh, what I did is I took all my recipes, which I, I keep in a recipe box, and I just took out some of the favorites because what I have been doing was planning, trying to menu plan each week at the beginning of the week. Um, and I would usually just get too lazy or I wouldn't do it or I'd just like take the same recipes that I used last week. So this was also a way that I wanted to um, make sure that I was going through all of the recipes that we like and not just doing the same things over and over. And I've been doing this this way since April. So um, it's worked out really well. I think. And what I did is I took out from my recipe box all the recipes that are our favorites, plus a couple recipes that I had made um, once and we really, really liked and I had just never made again. And then I made piles. So I made a beef pile, a chicken pile, a fish pile, and a pork pile. And then what I did is I wrote each recipe on its own little flag and um, put those to the side. And then I went through each week and just put all the flags on a week until I didn't have any more flags. And that actually lasted until this week. Um, so now I need to do for the rest of the year. But now that I have a new planner coming, I'm just going to wait for it to come and kind of hold off until then. I think it's two weeks till it comes. But the way that uh, it works for our family is that on Monday, it's usually a crock pot meal because, I mean, who wants to come home from work on Monday and cook? So Monday is usually a crock pot meal, and then Wednesday is usually um, an easy cooking meal, so like a casserole or just something that you throw together and put in the oven. And then Saturday slash Sunday is usually one of the more complex meals that you know, multiple items that you have to cook and bake and saute and all that kind of stuff is uh, the weekend because you've got some extra time. Um, we always order on Friday. That's just our thing. We order on Friday and then usually the only other meal that we eat out is Sunday on the way home from church. We pick up fast food. So those are really the only two meals that we plan to eat out. And of course, you know, what happens here or there. But in general, we don't eat out very much and we don't mind eating leftovers. So um, Tuesday and Thursday, we just eat leftovers. And Wednesday, I also um, kind of fold in my kitchen cleaning with this. So Monday, while I'm getting this ready in the evening, you know, making sure that it's finished and plating it, I kind of do a little bit of dishes. But generally, Sunday night, I've cleaned all the dishes and the whole kitchen is clean. And then we kind of coast. And then Wednesday, while I'm cooking, I do the dishes again. And then generally, Saturday morning, I do the dishes again. So this is also kind of the times that we're in the kitchen. We have a tiny house. So, um, yeah, that's just how it kind of works out. Um, so, yeah, in going through the, the list and the piles, I tried to make sure that, like, we didn't have three chicken meals or three beef meals in a week. I tried to kind of split them up and um, make sure it wasn't, like, three meatloafs or whatever. But so, yeah, I just went through and I put the flags on the dates. And then what I did is I had these um, plastic folders, or plastic holders, and I put all the recipes in here for the two-week time period that was on these pages. So, um, like over here, the Crock-Pot Indonesian chicken recipe, the chicken and rice, uh, the spaghetti casserole is here, um... The tortellini soup. I put a P with a circle if it's on Pinterest. Um, and then here's the fish recipe. So at the beginning of the two weeks, I can try to grocery shop for both weeks, um, except for like the produce. But I'll try to get all the meat or all the pasta or all the things that can sit for two weeks in my first grocery trip. And then the second week, just pick up the things that I need. But so that's um, pretty much 
how I've done it. And then it's just a mix of like home written recipes, online recipes, um, just all kinds of things. I didn't have a bunch of the plastics, so these weeks I just um, paper clipped it to the back. Um, this week my husband was gone, gone, so I just basically got a pizza at Costco and my daughter and I ate it for a, a week or two. Um, and then back to the paper clipping it behind. So, yeah, this has worked out really well. Uh, to be honest, usually the Saturday or Sunday was only 50-50 that I actually cooked that item um, because, you know, sometimes I just get lazy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, over here, I just have a couple extra flags for recipes that didn't get assigned anywhere. And then what I do, so this is kind of the planning part of it, and then what I do is when I do my... I weekly review and get ready for the next two weeks. I take the flags and I put them in my, this is a patent pink personal domino. So I take them and I put them in my kitchen section. So here I have my um, grocery checklist and then also my weekly meal plan. So I just take the flags and I put them on the days in here. And that way, um, you know, while I'm out and about that week, I know what I'm cooking when I get home. And then I'll usually just tuck the recipes back here. I just don't have them here right now. So that is um, how I do the menu plan, and then usually we have um, some kind of backup meal plan in case, like, if I cook this and then we don't have the leftovers on Tuesday, then we almost always have, like, frozen fish in the freezer or a frozen pizza or something like that, and that's just what we fall back on if um, there's no leftovers. And for lunches, my daughter will take leftovers because she's two, so she doesn't take a lot of leftovers when she takes them. Um, my husband and I both eat sandwiches at work, so um, we don't usually take leftovers, although I do every once in a while when I'm too lazy to make a sandwich. So that is how we do meal planning in our family, and it's been working out really well. So thanks for watching.